What does IDK stand for? If you answered, I don't know, you're right. What about CU46 or 420? Did anyone answer CU for sex or marijuana? Probably not. I'm a little, and you know, we put mother of three, Beth Vera Clary, to the test. Oh, yes, they're all smarter than me. I've seen the PIR, the parent in room. Teens, we and teens, they want to find different ways to kind of be, have a mom and dad a little bit. And social media expert Marcy Williams says acronyms like 1174, which translates into party meeting place, and GNOC, get naked on camera, can help them do that. There are some um, acronyms that give details on parties, when they're occurring, where, what's happening at the parties. Research shows the average team sends and receives 30 text messages a day. But when they use acronyms like the number 8, it can be hard to decode its real meaning. If I do see one that I'm not sure of, then I'll Google it. Beth has two teenage boys and has taken their phones away a time or two. There was some texting going on with girlfriends and things that needed attention. The rule in her house, she has their passcodes and does random phone checks. Psychologist Dr. Allison Twenty agrees with that approach. It was a very young child just having the beginning phone. We want to be checking that every night, having it charging in a parent's bedroom. And if a parent is ever concerned about what a text or acronym means, Dr. Twenty says ask then talk about it. You could write a note to your child and say, hey, what does this mean? I see this a lot. Or why are you having this kind of a conversation with someone? Technology is not the enemy. While that 14-year-old son wasn't familiar with many of the acronyms we showed him, I actually don't know what I mean. She says it won't stop her from educating herself. It's um, part of the culture that we're in now. Sydney Cameron, 8 News. Great tips there. Experts also suggest keeping tabs on your kids' social media accounts, saying acronyms are used online, too. Yeah, above all, teach them how to make good choices whenever they're using social media or texting out there. Because these days, as we've learned, and as so many people have learned, those things don't always go away. They sometimes stick around forever and can come and back to haunt they you. they do. The cloud and such. The cloud and such. too many stories here, you know, where people just get caught. So, so